Hello everyone, in this video, we will talk about installing a bimetallic heating radiator. In my other video, the link to which you will find in the description of this video, it was about dismantling the old radiator and the manufacture and installation of a bypass piping for attaching a new radiator. So, to connect a new radiator to the heating pipes, you must have a so-called connecting set. The set consists of four connectors, where two have an external left thread, and the other two have a right thread. For convenience, on some connectors, adapters they make a designation, where S means that the part is installed on the left side of the radiator, and the letter R means that it should be on the right side. The internal thread of the connector can be different, the choice of the size of the connection depends on the diameter of the pipes to which the radiator will be connected. Also, the set is completed with one plug and a Majewski tap with a key, thanks to which it is easy and simple to remove air from the system after the coolant is launched into it. To mount the radiator on the wall, I need a set of dowels and brackets. Manufacturers recommend using at least three brackets for radiators with up to 10 sections, where two are located at the top and one at the bottom. In my case, the radiator will be installed on four brackets. The first thing I do is install the adapters in the radiator, for this I install them on sanitary flax with sealing paste, wind the flax so that it does not reach the silicone gasket. Many do without additional flax sealing at all, achieving tightness using a standard silicone gasket or planting an adapter on a paste hardening sealant, here whoever likes it. Personally, I try to fill the thread of the fittings with plumbing flax, since without it, the adapter located in the inch thread has enough free play. In this connection, I do not want to rely on only one silicone pad. In principle, I do not work with a hardening paste sealant. For the installation of adapters, there are special plastic keys on sale, thanks to which the paint is not damaged. But, such a key is not durable enough, and it is good if it is enough for mounting one set of adapters. Therefore, I use a steel head with a ratchet wrench attached to it. In order not to damage the paint on the adapters, when working with an adjustable wrench, you can wrap the edges of the adapter with paper adhesive tape. Having installed adapters on all sides, and having determined that in my case, the connection of the radiator to the central heating pipes will be made on the left side, I install counterparts from the quick disconnect connectors on this side. I install the fittings on sanitary flax, screwing them into the connector using a stepped key connected to a ratchet wrench. On the other side of the radiator, I install a plug in the lower connector, and a Majewski tap on the upper one. The plug and the valve have special rubber rings for sealing the connection when they are screwed into the connector. But since the quality of the seat and the thread in the connector leaves much to be desired, there are flakes and irregularities, when screwing them in, I don't really want to rely on tightness from the gum alone, and therefore, before installing them, I do a little winding with flax and paste.
After installing all the parts of the connecting set, I mount to the bypass assembly, pipe sections with other counterparts from the quick disconnect fittings. In my situation, the heating radiator will be covered with a decorative screen, so without fear of introducing dissonance and spoiling the appearance of the pipes and the radiator itself with unnecessary piling up, I quite calmly install additional intermediate brackets with clamps that will support the pipes and prevent them from displacement and deformation of the joints under weight radiator. Having installed the brackets, I temporarily attach the radiator to the pipes and mark the places for attaching the radiator wall brackets. Using a ruler against the wall, I mark the places for the dowels. Disconnecting and removing the radiator, using an electric perforator, I make holes in the designated places. I insert the dowels into the holes, the brackets are in them and I set the brackets along the length. I then, putting the radiator on the wall brackets, I combine the quick release fittings with each other, and then tighten them with a wrench. I check that all connections are tight, and the Majewski valve is closed. After that, one by one and little by little, I open both stop valves and run the coolant into the radiator. Then, taking a small container and holding it to Majewski's tap, I open it and release the air from the system. So that the spray of the coolant does not fly around, the tap can be covered with a small piece of cloth. The heating radiator is installed. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel, good luck everyone and see you soon friends.